Horizon Client has updated to 1.20.80. To download Horizon, you can go over to their official website, Horizon.download, which will be linked down in the description. Together, actually, with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that, as you can find a lot of stuff about Horizon as well as many other clients on there. Anyways, on the Orion website, you can simply click on this green download button and the download will automatically start. Now, as you can see in my downloads, I have the Orion injector. And if you actually already had this, then you don't need to re-download it. Anyways, I can simply double click on that. As you can see, there's no install process and it'll automatically open. Then you can just simply click on the green inject button and it'll automatically inject into Minecraft 1.20.80. If you want to find out how you can use it for older versions, I'll link a video um, that explains that down in the description below. And once you're down there, consider subscribing because I make a lot of content similar to this. Anyways, basically, right now, we have it injected and I'll quickly just go into a world and show you how to use it. As I said, brief, I'm just going to show you how to get started. If you do want a full in-depth tutorial, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, to get started, you can press on the insert button, and that is going to be opening up the click GUI area over here. This is where you can find basically all of the utilities that this client has, which are all these things. You can hover over them, and in the bottom left, you'll get a little bit of a description, and you can click on them to turn them on, and click on them once again to turn them off, just like that. You can actually right click on these as well, and as you can see, that's going to give you a little bit of a customization menu. Um, where some of these some of them have more customization some of them have less anyways basically that is this entire area right here sometimes by default you will have stuff like the hud as well as the array list enabled anyways as you can see you can see those right here the array list is in the top right hand side and it basically displays everything that you currently have enabled and the hud is in the bottom left and displays um, your frames clicks per second as well as the durability of the item you're holding anyways sometimes you might also get the watermark automatically enabled which is that Ryan thing right there in the bottom right hand side Basically, um, you can disable all of those through this GUI menu over here, as you can see, and that way your screen will be completely clear. Anyways, to actually rebind this area over here, for example, if you don't have an insert key um, or you don't want to use the insert key, you can go into the chat, type in dot bind, then click GUI just like so, and then whatever button you want. For example, F. Now when I hit on enter, the click the key bind of click GUI is F, meaning I can click on F to open and close this. It's really that simple. Now as you can see, there was just a command here. And I can type in dot help in the chat, and that's gonna give me a list of all the commands that this client has. Now, before you ask, no, the dot give and dot game mode commands and stuff like that still do not work on multiplayer. I've got an entire video on that topic because so many people are confused about it. So I will link once again that down in the description. Um, anyways, basically these commands, they're pretty simple, right? So you can just choose one, for example, um, dot emote, right? So let's see, I don't know how to use it. So I'm just going to type dot emote in chat and here we go now it's going to give me the usage so i can type in a list or the name of the emote really that is how simple it is so i could do that if i wanted to anyways that's how to use the commands as well as the click gui if you have any questions or stuff like that do of course if we leave those down in the comments below and do remember that i have helpful videos linked in the description for right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.